Hi, this is Richard Quack here. Welcome to another session of my video. In today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is how I authored my first book. Now, this is a very, very interesting story because it is my own personal story. All right, so I would like to relate this story to you to encourage you that, you know, uh, you can do anything you want in life if you just make up your mind to do it, okay? So let's uh, start with it, how I authored my first book. Now, I was studying in the UK for many years, all right? I was in UK studying there for many years and I always have a desire to author a book on how to study, how to study. Believe it or not, you know, uh, studying was my hobby because I attended a lot of courses on how to sit for examinations and how to go for exam techniques and so on. So basically, I know a little bit about how uh, to sit for exams and so on. So basically, I wanted to author a book on how to study, all right? Now, the problem is that, you know, until today, I have not authored the book. Just like most of you all here, you want to do so many things in life, but at the end of the day, nothing get done, all right? We keep on postponing all the time and nothing gets done. So I remember when I want to author the book, I went around in uh, England looking at all the bookshops. There were no books on how to study at that time. There was no book whatsoever. But goodness me, you look at the shop today, bookshop today, there are so many books on how to study now, right? So the thing is that, you know, at that time, I wanted to author the book, but until today, I've never, never authored the book, all right? So what happened was that, you know, uh, I came back to Malaysia. When I came back to Malaysia, I attended a seminar, all right? And sitting beside me was a young man, all right? And he authored a book. And I was inspired with him, you know, that he had authored a book and he was much younger than me, all right? And I here, you know, wanted to author a book for so many years and have never done it. So what I did was, as usual, ask people who have done it. So I asked him, is it possible for me to meet you up for a cup of coffee, you know, uh, after the seminar, which he agreed to. So after the seminar, I met him uh, in a coffee shop. We had a cup of coffee and I asked him a lot of questions, all right? And I totally absorbed what he told me. I was like a sponge, you know, I absorbed everything. And at the end of the talk, you know, I thank him and then I make a decision. This is very important. Okay, like I say, you know, change can happen in an instant. It is the decision to change that takes a long, long time. So after that meeting, I told myself, in the next three months, I'm going to come up with my first book. All right, believe it or not, once you make a committed decision, things start to happen. All right, so true enough, you know, I start planning and so on. All right, and within three months, I came up with my first book. All right, I came up with my first book and it is called Cappuccino and Success. All right, if you follow my profile page, you will have seen some videos on some of the stories there. All right, it's a book on 101 short motivational stories with success principles. All right, so it's a very interesting book, but it's a very simple book. But it is a book. All right, now the thing is that you know, I was very inspired. I went back to the seminar again, all right? And this time I met some of the uh, uh, previous graduates who were in the same batch with me and I showed them the book. That I authored the book. And you know what? Most of them look at the book and say, well, this is a simple book. It's just a compilation of stories. You know, we can do it too. So that's the difference between them and me. They said they can do it too, but they have not done it until today. But I've done it. That's the big difference. So the question here is that, you know, if you want validation from people, you can wait for validation for the rest of your life because nobody is going to validate you. You have to validate yourself, my friend. Okay. So I was inspired. I came up with my first book. All right. And you know what, you know, what is important to notice is that for many years, I wanted to author a book, but I've never done it at all. But once I make up my mind, I did it. All right. Now, what I want to tell you is that from this story, there are a few things you can learn from, all right, which I want to uh, point out to you. Number one, no one will wait for you, all right? Remember, I wanted to write a book about how to study many, many years ago, 
I didn't do it. Nobody waited for me. Somebody came up with the book and somebody came up with the book later on and there are so many books on how to study today. Is that true? Alright. So that is the first thing you might understand. Nobody's going to wait for you. You don't take the opportunity, it will go off to somebody else. Alright. Number two is that I got advice from somebody who has authored a book. Alright. You want advice, get from people who have done it or who are successful. Don't get from people, you know, who have not done it. All right, they will discourage you, that's for sure. Do you agree with me, with me on that, all right? So that's the second thing. The third thing is, when you start, it's not important. It is important where you proceed from there. Now, today, I've authored more than 10 books. But the young man who inspired me, he has, he still stuck with that one single book, all right? Although I respect him because he inspired me to come up with my first book and today I've authored more than 10 books. So when... You start, it's not important. I start later, right? But I've ended up with more than 10 books today. Okay? So it's important to realize when you start, it's not important. The other thing is that momentum is important. Alright? Always remember momentum. You set a goal, you achieve the goal. You've got to use the momentum to push you forward. So I completed my first book. I didn't stop there. I came up with my second book, my third book, my fourth book. I... You know, use my momentum to go further. But a lot of people, when they set a goal, they reach the goal, they tend to be tired and then relax. You know what? When you slow down, it's difficult to start all over again. Do you remember? Do you un understand that? Because momentum is important. Once you don't have momentum, it's so difficult to move forward again. That is why I advise people that, you know, once you do something, reach a goal, set a higher goal and go forward. All right. That is why I authored a book. I came up with my second book, third book and so on. So I keep on moving on, all right? So use the momentum. Now, the other thing I want to tell you, the last point here is that, you know, there are people I know of, all right, who attend seminars on how to write a book. They pay a lot of money, tens of, 10 over 1,000 ringgit, you know, more than 10,000, 20,000 ringgit to attend a seminar to teach you how to write a book. But at the end of the day, most of them never author any book at all. All right, I have not attended those seminars, but... I still author more than 10 books today because why? It is all in the mind. Once you make a decision about it, go ahead and get it done. All right. So that is what I want to share with you. All right. Now, today I've authored more than 10 books. All right. Then the other thing that is important is not just authoring or writing the book. You must be able to market the book as well. All right. So I have to market the book in physical copy, right? Physical copy, printed copy, which I have to go through all the, you know, uh, distributors and so on. They, they, they were, um, what do you call it? They were distributed to the bookshops and so on. So I go to distributors. By that time, at that time, there was not Amazon.com yet, by the way, and all the other uh, uh, outlets outside there, right? So I have to go to the uh, distributors that will distribute to all the bookshops. And I can tell you, it's not easy, you know? It's not easy because why? You know, at the end of the day, when you send a book to them, you know, they don't pay you only after three to six months. All right, they'll keep the book. And if you cannot sell the book, they return back to you. And the margin is so small, you know, uh, they will take most of the profit. That's for sure. I don't know. I explain to you or discuss with you how much the profit margin is and so on. But it's very small. All right. And not only that, you know, three to six month credit period, which is too long. Okay. So basically, uh, uh, marketing is very important. Now, physical copy, I will market through the uh, uh, bookshops and so on, through the, the distributors, you know. But uh, uh, for, for, for online, I created my own ebooks, all right? I created my own ebooks and I market it online through my website. I created websites on my own website and so on and I market it online as well, all right? Because uh, once you have physical copy, you know, to do the ebook is very simple. All you need to do is uh, today just convert into PDF copy. That's all. All right. Previously, when I first started, you know, we have to use those EXE type of software to con uh, to convert into ebooks, which is, was not easy. All right. Number one, you got to buy the software. Number two, you need to know how to do it. But today, converting to EPF, uh, PDF is so easy. Don't you think so? Easy. So everything is easy. Okay. That's how I market the thing. Physical copy and online and digital uh, copies through ebooks. Okay. Now, let me share with you one thing. You know, you can hear my story here. All right. If I can do it, I believe everyone can do it. All right. And I believe everyone here, including you, you have a book inside of you. The only thing is that it has not come out. That's all. Because remember, you know things that a lot of people do not know. 
and a lot of people are looking for the information that you have. Don't you agree, so? All right. A lot of people are looking for the information that you have, and you are talking about today with the internet. You know, uh, it's global, it's worldwide. It's not restricted to where you are. Like I'm from Malaysia. It's not restricted to Malaysia, especially uh, uh, even print copy today it can be sold worldwide. Are you with me? Okay. So basically, you know, uh, uh, it can be done because if you, if you know things, you are passionate about something that uh, some certain topics that a lot of people do not know, and you know that a lot of people are looking for that sort of information as well. So you know something about, let's say, you know about cars, all right? A lot of people are looking for emotion, uh, information about cars, or you know something about, um, let's say, uh, cooking, all right? Well, recipes or certain type of recipes, you know, a lot of people are looking for that, all right? You see, you, you must be creative in your mindset, all right? Don't think that, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. No, you can do it. And I assure you, you don't need validation from anybody whatsoever. I can tell you, I've authored more than 10 books that if I can do it, you can do it as well, okay? Now, the thing is that, a lot of people have got a lot of obstacles. You know what are the obstacles? Number one, oh, my English is not good enough. So what? You think my English is good? All right, don't forget, you know. You can author the book and you can get somebody to edit it for you, all right? You pay people to edit the book for you. What I did is well. I get people to edit it for me. All right, and sometimes uh, people say, oh, I'm not creative enough. Well, I mean, creativity, everybody got creativity. Only thing that you bring up. You are creative because you know something that other people don't know. You have passion, you have interest in it. You will have the creativity, that's for sure. All right. Now, sometimes people say, you know, well, I, I don't have the time. It takes too much time. All right. Well, let me tell you, you the truth. All right. How long does it take to write one page? Maybe half an hour the most, right? One page. If you can write one page a day, all right, for 150 days, you have 150 page just book, my friend. That means in just five months, you have a book. 150 pages book. Can you see that or not? All right. A page a day. A page will take you less than 30 minutes, my friend. Just sit down and, and create the the thing, uh, the, the page. All right. The book. All right. Like me, at the moment, I'm quite busy, right? I'm authoring my latest book. All right. It is uh, on network marketing, how to use the internet and so on. And I'm slowly taking my time, but I'm doing it chapter by chapter all right because it can be done once you set your mind to it you just sit down and then uh, plan uh, today i'm not going to talk about how to plan it and so on but basically if you are interested in that in the future i can talk about that but what i'm saying is that you know uh everybody can write a book honestly all right it don't have to be a thick book all right it don't have to be uh, uh you don't have to be good in english and if you can write just one page a day one page a day consistently for five months, you have a book of 150 pages, my friend. Are you with me? All right. Now, another advice I will give you, you know, when you author a book, right, self-publish it yourself. Self-publish yourself. Don't get a publisher, you know, to publish it for you because when you have a publisher, all the rights go to the publisher. Uh, they was, you only get a certain percentage, that's the uh, royalty, that's all. All right. Whereas for me, I self-publish all my book. I am in total control. All right, I want to sell the book at how much I can. I want to give the book away for free. I can. I can do anything with the book because it belongs to me. But when you go to a publisher, all right, you go to a publisher, they only pay you a royalty. That's all. The rest belong to them. Are you with me? And not only that, you know, when you go to a publisher, all right, uh, you know, it's not necessary that they're going to promote the book well for you as well. All right, so I would say that, you know, self-publish yourself. You are in total control. And the only reason why people, uh, you know, uh, go to publisher is because they think it's very expensive. Well, you authored the book, right? You written the book. Now, all you need to do is get it edited, okay? Get some design for it, you know, the cover and so on, uh, and some graphics and so on. And, well, you can get it printed. That's it. And it doesn't cost you more. I mean, in Malaysian ringgit, okay, in Malaysian ringgit, if you want to uh, print about, say, 500 copies of the book, yeah, uh, it will cost you less than 10,000. Less than 10,000. All right, so basically, you know, uh, everybody can do it. You don't have to go to a publisher. All right, so I'm advising you that, you know, every one of you, including you there, sitting there watching here, you have a book inside of you. You have a book inside of you. Bring it out, all right? Bring it out. It doesn't have to be a 150 pages book. I see over the internet people selling, you know, ebooks, 30 hour pages. That's all. 30 hour pages. It's just a report. It can be done. And put it this way it's on the internet. 
you know you 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 do a 30 all pages book you sell for you don't have to sell a lot you just sell for maybe about say uh, 995 995 US dollar why not all right and uh, every time you know uh, especially digital copy I like it because you don't have to print the book right it's all uh, in digital format and then once people purchase from you you deliver it through the internet as a download that's all all right so basically it is very exciting and you know what you may not make money much money from authoring the book my friend unless you are you know like uh, what's called the twilight okay you write books like the twilight or uh, harry potter you know then you might be very very successful but most of us we author book we might not be earning a lot of money but you know what you get credibility because you are author are you with me that's the big difference so don't expect to earn a lot of money by authoring books right by writing books but the thing is that it is the byproduct because it gives you credibility and it gives you uh, your brand okay so that's all i share with you i hope that you learned something here uh you know that is my own true story my own experience that i shared with you if i can do it i believe everyone here can do it as well i authored more than 10 books like 10 books right like i said you know but over the years you know uh, uh how long does it take to author a book well depend like i said just now it's just write one page a day one page a day one page will not take you 30 minutes just like you write a short article right 150 days you will have 150 pages book which is quite reasonable other people are selling 36 pages book that's all that means within one month you can author a book ready all right yes okay so that's all i'll share with you today i hope that you learned something and if you like what you see and hear please feel free to like to share and comment i appreciate it if you really uh, uh engage with my uh facebook live here all right comment or whatever uh and like or share because why you know it takes me effort to do this to give value to you i hope that you appreciate it and the only way for you to appreciate show that you appreciate me is that you know you uh, like you comment or you share okay so uh i thank you for your time once again and uh, I will see you tomorrow again for another session of my video. So this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.